thank you everyone for attending our conference. What a closing and what a week. In order for us to start our closing, we will have uh, the use of the Mentimeter just to get your overall viewpoint uh, in reference to our conference. Our first question asks, where are you joining us from? So we know that we asked you this in the first part of our conference where we had an attendee map, but we would really like to give a overall viewpoint in reference to where everybody's coming from and hopefully give them a great shout out. So we have California and Texas, of course, always representing. Uh, we have British Columbia, the Czech Republic. And as we said before in our opening that OER is most definitely global. So speaking of globalization, um, we also are gonna be looking at Alberta, Canada. We have Hawaii. Um, look like I saw someone else on there. The, oh, the Coast Terries, did I see that? Yep. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna go to our next slide, which will ask you, thank you guys for this participation. What is one thing you got out of this conference? I know that we had a lot going on this week and a lot to absorb. So if you just can like, just breathe in and think back and just let us know, what did you get out of this conference? New resources, ideas, energy, that's great. Take that energy and continue to rise. I see a lot of energy. This keynote, it was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, inspiration, which I hope you got from this keynote as well. Focus on equity. Uh, friends, I know the social uh, aspect was awesome. We had our mocktails last night. You had Kahoot, but with Rachel, it was just been amazing. Uh, community. Uh, experiences for student and faculty. Our student panel on Monday was simply amazing. So you guys really are receiving a lot. That's ideas about open pedagogy. Again, pedagogy continues to improve and evolve totally depending upon your, your audience and your class. Open pedagogy will continue to evolve. So this is great. Connecting with so many amazing peers. Yes, we do have a wonderful community, don't we? And our last question that we're gonna ask of you is, what is one action? Because remember what our theme is, rise to action, large or small, are you going to take to make education more open and equitable? Mobilize our community. Try to build on the advocacy at your campus. Remember again, guys, we're just taking this one step at a time, but our goal and our challenge to rise is to most definitely spread the word about our, uh, spread the word at our institution, uh, in our community and outside of our community. We need to bring new people in to let them know exactly what's going on in order for us to grow. Connect with Falcon and staff of color, uh, working on integrating open pedagogy, Again, we got this again in reference to bringing in others. Very good. This is exactly what we're looking for. To implement a plan of action. Yes, we have to, I, I, I hope some of you may be visual. You write it down. Once you cross it off, you feel a sense of accomplishment. That's great. Keep being fabulous. That's what we are here in this community. Uh, promote OER. That's great. All right, wonderful. Thank you again for those comments. This, these comments will be saved uh, in order for us to compile them and, and, and get some information around off back to you in reference to uh, your questions that were, that were asked today. Again, I wanna reiterate what a closing and a week. On behalf of the board, in closing, our conference, we would like to thank each of you for making this year's conference a, rem a rememberable one with so many amazing workshops presented by and addressing the interests of our community. Our community, which consists of faculty, students, librarians, administrators, instructional designers, and so many other collaborators were in attendance this week. Utilizing our attendee map, we had speakers and attendees from around the world. 
And you just saw that from your mentee. From the likes of Peru, Denmark, Canada, Pakistan, Tuscany, Idaho, Hawaii, New York, Canada, and many other places. So if you think you missed any of these memories or just want to relive them again, the recordings are currently available to you. We hope that you created memories not only from the workshop, which includes the preliminaries, which were orchestrated by students, feminists, ecologists, and community leader, but we were able to create memories as social activities such as the Kahoot and mocktails and many others during the week. We hope during your attendance, you had the opportunity to think how you will rise to action in our community. We hope you will join us at the reception that follows our closing and let us know what your plans are to continue to rise and also any ideas or thoughts pertaining to this week's conference and next year's as well. Our Open Ed Conference 2022 closing will now come to it, will continue as you will hear remarks from other board members. I will now pass the baton to Amanda Larson. You'd think I'd know where the video button was. Hi, everybody. Before we move into our formal thank yous to the folks who've made this conference possible, I'd just like to offer a few words of reflection about this year's conference. I've been a part of the planning process for the conference since 2020, and this year I believe we've really hit our stride. Our theme, Rise to Action, and commitment to being as inclusive as possible led to a program where the conference strategic vision was holistically represented throughout all the sessions that I attended this week. I kicked off my week with the student plenary that set the tone for how central students are to the action that we take in our work and the impact the open ed that open education can have on their lives. A theme that I saw repeated in sessions on open pedagogy, ungrading, and OER programs. There's also space for practitioners to come together and be vulnerable and share how we do the work, how lonely it can be at times, and how much we turn to each other for support. When asked in one of the debrief sessions how we felt about the conference so far, I could think of only one word, home. This year felt like a homecoming to me, and I'm leaving with a well that's been refilled. And while we can and should always strive to make the conference more inclusive and more transparent, this year's conference was incredible. And I can't wait to revisit the sessions that I attended to implement ideas that I've learned into my work and watch sessions I didn't get through throughout the rest of the year for sustained professional development. I am immensely grateful for the community volunteers and organizers who continue to champion this conference every year. I hope that you leave inspired and ready to decide how you'll rise to action in your work over the next year. Over to you, Susan. Thank you, Amanda. So we wanna take time now to acknowledge and appreciate the folks who volunteered their time over the summer and in the weeks leading up to the conference. As someone who's relatively new to this community, I can say that I've been really impressed by the dedication of our volunteers um, and just wanna acknowledge as others have said, that the conference absolutely would not happen without them. So first, a big thank you to everyone who participated in the initial review of proposals. This is a big lift, and it's so valuable to have multiple perspectives as part of that process. Next, I want to thank our video reviewers. Uh, these folks made sure that all of the pre-recorded sessions were accessible, and so thank you for the time you spent previewing those. And then on behalf of myself and the other co-chair of the program committee, Alita Pardo Sudarso, sorry, Alita. Um, I, I wanna say thank you to our small but mighty team uh, who put in many hours of work reviewing proposals and helping to finalize the program for what I hope was a rich learning experience for each of you. So thank you, program committee and um, I will pass it to Stephanie. Thank you, Susan. Um, I'd like to also thank the engagement committee. The engagement committee is extremely important and made sure this conference is both fun, interactive, and has lots of social and networking opportunities. This is no easy task with a virtual conference. So thank you to the engagement committee. Uh, great work, everybody. Next slide, please. 
And we would also like to thank our session hosts, people who run the sessions, admit the attendees, start the recording, and make sure the conference code of conduct is upheld. This event could not run smoothly without our session hosts, many of whom are board members, but also many volunteers. We really appreciate their time and commitment. And now I will hand it over to Haley. All right, hi everyone. Uh, so if we could just hop over to the next slide. Perfect, my name's Haley. I'm the Open Education Project Manager at Spark and I've had the immense pleasure um, of being able to support the board over the last year. Um, I've been given about a minute to sum up my gratitude for this group of individuals and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that, but I'll try my best. Um, each of the people um, on your screen has like really stepped up in a way that I, I honestly can't even begin to describe over the last year. Um, the conference is at a very sort of pivotal moment where, you know, there are many decisions to be made about uh, the strategic future. Um, and each of these board members have given so much of their time and energy um, to address these questions. Um, their passion and commitment to this work comes through in the way that they continue to show up week after week um, at our meetings um, and so on. They've been putting in the work, um, you know, not just in the weeks leading up to this, but uh, over the past year. So I want to give a special shout out um, to Rachel and Tonja, who led our community engagement committee, to Susan and Alita, who did the same with our program planning committee, um, to Sam and Rachel, who have really spearheaded our finance work, um, and to Stephanie for fearlessly leading our board meetings. Um, but of course, you know, every single person on the screen um, has really, really showed up in a way that brings their lived experience and expertise to make the conference what it is today. So thank you so much to all of you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, and I can't wait to see where the board leads the conference next year. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn it over to Rachel now. Hello, everyone. We would like to thank our conference team. Um, without them, this could not have happened. The people at Spark, um, specifically Asha Law, Crystal Bissasar, Kim Henzi, and from Spark, Aisha, Brianna, Haley, Nicole, we appreciate you all so much. We'd also like to thank our sponsors. Um, the Hewlett Foundation, the Mickelson 20 Million Minds Foundation, OpenStax and Rice. Without all of you, this conference would not have been possible and we appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pass it on to Brianna who will discuss passing the torch. Thanks so much, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Brianna. I'm the Open Education Conference Manager. Uh, as we close out this year's conference and look ahead to next year, 2023, I just wanted to take a minute to remind everyone about the upcoming election. The Open Ed Conference is looking for six new members to serve on the Board of Directors. Uh, those new members will serve for a two-year term starting in January 2023, so if you're interested, please remember to nominate yourself by the deadline, which is October 28th. I'll go ahead and drop that link in the chat if any of you are interested. We've got a whole FAQ page on our website, and now I will pass the mic over to Sam. Thank you all. And I also want to echo Amanda. I feel like I'm home when I'm here and part of this group. Um, I have just, it's been a wonderful, heartwarming and filling um, week. I do want to encourage all of you to um, complete the survey for next year's conference and um, carrying out your reflections. Um, we really, really want to hear from you so that we can continue to make this conference really focus on your needs, your desires, and really focused on the community. The link to the survey form is in the chat. Um, and so I really want to um, thank you all and say, please, please, please let us know what um, you're thinking. There is some conversation about what next year's conference will be like. I know I see in the chat people arguing for or asking for more virtual and those who would like us to move back into person. We are considering trying to figure out how do we do both those things or do all of those things, um, both virtual and in person. So please make sure that you fill out your survey and let us know what you think. 
And I'm going to hand this over to Tanja for our final goodbyes, except for if you come to the, re the uh, reception after, we'll see you there. Thank you, Sam. Again, on behalf of the board, it has been an honor serving you for the Open Ed Conference 2022, Rise to Action. If you would like to network or have additional comments or questions as Sam just stated, please join us for the closing reception to continue to network. Until then, see you next year as we continue to rise. Thank you. <laughs>